Wearing sports masks can be advantageous because it adds an extra load onto your breathing and it does this two ways. So when we look at the mask itself, the mask itself has a valve to the front and by moving this valve, you can change the airflow from light to stronger. You can change the air hunger from a mild air hunger to a strong air hunger. The mask also pulls carbon dioxide and by pooling carbon dioxide, you're rebreathing carbon dioxide back into the lungs to increase it in the blood. And this also intensifies the feeling of air hunger. Now, by moving the valve to the front, you can also increase resistance to your breathing, which helps to improve respiratory muscle strength. Having a stronger die from breathing muscle is very important during sports. Results show that 50% of athletes experience respiratory muscle fatigue. And those athletes vary from endurance athletes to, for example, sprinters. When the diaphragm breathing muscle gets tired, blood is stolen from the legs to feed the diaphragm and the legs give out. So it's very important also, not just that breathing is efficient and economical, but also that our breathing muscles are strong enough. While wearing sports mask, you're walking or you're jogging while breathing in and out through your nose. And as you continue to move, you can bring in some breath holds. The first breath hold may be breathing out and holding your breath for about 10 paces, followed by normal breathing for about 10 paces or so. And then to hold your breath again for 10 paces, followed by normal breathing for 10 paces or so. And then to breathe in and out and hold your breath for 15 paces. And then let go, resume breathing, followed by normal breathing for about 10 paces. And then the next breath hold, we hold the breath again, exhale and hold for 15 paces. Then resume breathing for about 10 paces. And the next breath hold, we increase it to holding the breath for 20 paces. Now, as you continue to increase the length of time that you hold your breath for, also it's important to increase the intensity of your movement. So for example, when you're holding your breath for 20 paces, go from a walk into a fast walk into a jog and at the end of 20 paces to breathe in through your nose and have normal breathing then for about 10 paces or so. And after breathing normally for 10 paces again, breathe in and out through your nose and hold your breath and again repeat, holding your breath for 20 paces. At the end of the breath hold involving 20 paces, breathe in through your nose and have normal breathing for about 10 paces or so. The next breath hold, we increase it to 25 paces. So again, you're taking a normal breath in and out through your nose and you're holding your breath for 25 paces. You're going from a walk into a fast walk, into a jog, into a fast jog, keep relaxing into the body and resume breathing with normal breathing for about 10 paces or so. So from start to finish with this exercise, we start off while wearing the mask during movement, we hold the breath for 10 paces, then we have normal breathing for 10 paces. Then we hold again for 10 paces, normal breathing for 10 paces. Then we hold the breath for 15 paces, normal breathing for 10 paces. Then hold again for 15 paces, normal breathing for 10 paces. Then we hold the breath for 20 paces, normal breathing for 10 paces. Then we hold the breath again for 20 paces, followed by normal breathing for 10 paces. And then we increase it to 25 paces. So you take a normal breath in and out and you hold your breath and you're holding your breath for 25 paces followed by normal breathing for 10 paces and then you repeat 25 paces followed by normal breathing for 10 paces. So wearing the mask is pooling carbon dioxide because the increased volume inside the mask. It's also adding an extra load onto the breathing muscles via the, the resistance valve at the front here and this helps to improve respiratory muscle strength. The breath holds while wearing the mask further increase carbon dioxide in the blood to cause hypercapnia. And also during the breath hold, blood oxygen saturation drops to simulate altitude training. So wearing the mask is a good training tool to improve respiratory muscle strength, but also to cause the body to make adaptations conducive to improving sports performance.